Sometimes the solutions to our most complicated problems lie quietly in nature. Sea urchins have inspired a company based in Maine to tackle a prickly issue. Finsulate is a startup that's taking a fresh approach to an issue that plagues just about anyone with a boat. As 207's Beth McAvoy shows us, the innovative solution may have far-reaching benefits for the health of our oceans. Whether they're used for fun or work, boats are expensive to maintain. But little is accomplished on the water without one. And even if you've never been on one, boats still have a huge impact on your life. Ever eaten a banana that landed in your grocery cart by way of a shipping container, as do most American imports. So keeping boats in working order is a top priority. It's a big problem, which is fouling, biofouling or marine biofouling. So uh, we need to understand it's a major problem uh, globally, worldwide. And if you don't address it, it costs billions of dollars because it's slow boats and it affects any activity you've got in the water. So what is fouling? Fouling is when organisms like barnacles, algae, and one of the biggest culprits, mussels, attach themselves and then grow on underwater objects like ropes, piers, and of course, boats. Bernard Hidier heads up the U.S. Finsulate office, headquartered in Maine. The problem was, um, up to now, the only solution we had was to use uh, toxic chemical paints that are designed actually to dissolve in the water and they become inefficient as they dissolve in the water. With Finsulate, we're coming with an alternative solution. Most working boats are repainted annually with anti-fouling paint to ensure a clean hull. The problem, it's bad for marine life. When they looked at the deep sea areas where big ships go, uh, they were able to find 20% of this pollution was coming from anti-fouling paint. So 20% of the plastic pollution was anti-fouling paint. The problem is that when they got to coastal areas and some estuaries, they found the reverse. Some places had up to 80% of the plastic pollution coming from these paints. Several years ago, Dutch inventor Rick Brewer noticed something while diving. And he realized that many of the marine organisms, whether crabs, um, lobsters, uh, get fouling on their, on their surface because they are smooth. Yet, he, uh, he noticed that actually the, uh, the urchin doesn't get any fouling. So then there was a whole you know, work uh, being done in, in terms of how do we replicate that and how can we replicate that in a way that can be converted to a use on boats. What he came up with is this. It's a synthetic wrap that sticks to the hull of a boat with a self-adhesive, much like wrapping a car. The fibers create an inhospitable place for organisms to grow, but are safe and release no toxins into the water. The glue is water-based and also non-toxic, and the material is recyclable. So far, Finsulate has outfitted more than 600 boats with this material and guarantees the product for five years. Today we've got boats going for now seven years with the initial install. Earlier this year, Finsulate competed in the Maine Center for Entrepreneurs Top Gun competition, where Maine startups get 15 weeks of mentoring and then compete for a $25,000 prize. Finsulate came out on top. They told a really good story. Um, they're cleaning up the oceans, which is, I think, built into the DNA of any coastal um, state's heart. Um, beyond that, you know, Maine is such a special place um, and they chose us to, they're an international company and they chose us to headquarter in and really become part of our community. How beneficial was that program for Finsulate? Uh, it was great. It was, um, I really enjoyed it as a new Mainer uh, and recently uh, became a U.S. Uh, citizen uh, last year. Um, I really love the uh, community spirit. So far, only one main boat is sporting Finsulate's material on its hull. Hidier says it's in the process of training people to be able to install the material, which costs around $8 a square foot. When you talk to people from the waterfront and professionals, you start talking about the boats. But then you spend time, and the idea is to listen to their daily issues. And you start hearing about nets. You start hearing about... Um, docks and the piles and the docks sinking under the weight of the, uh, of the fouling, this we can address too. Taking a cue from nature, Finsulate hopes its solution will help solve a growing problem. It's also for aquaculturists, sea farmers and fishermen here, a way also to promote their products as, you know, adopting best practices in their work. 
Hittier says the Finsulate material improves fuel efficiency for boats, which is of course a big deal. The material can also help to prevent the spread of invasive species, which are often transported by ships that sail from one ocean to another. Pretty cool what they're doing. Yeah, you know, our environmental problems and challenges can seem so daunting that it yeah. can be easy to slip into resignation and even despair. So it's nice to see someone who's got a solution, yeah. uh, who's got a, an approach that works, that makes the problem more manageable. Absolutely, and we've got plenty of boaters in this state yeah, to take no, advantage of this it. Is, so. This is a good place to, to make, this, make this fly. It'll be fun to see where it goes in the years ahead.